Yeah, hello. Um, I'd like to, to make an appointment to, to come in um, regarding a, a, an incident that occurred yesterday. Okay. Um, Can I ask what the incident was? Um, it was of a domestic. Right. Okay. So you want to make an appointment to, to speak to someone about it? Yes. Okay. Let me take some details from you. The reason I'm asking um, for that before I can make the appointment is because it is a domestic in our policy. Well, I mean, uh, it's a serious domestic. Like, yeah. Okay, usually with our domestic policies, what we do is we um, advise that we lost in to 10 within the hour. But if you want to make an appointment instead of that, I can still do that with you. Say again. Our <laughs> policy for domestic incidents yeah. is usually for an officer to attend within the hour to discuss this. Yeah. Okay, but if, you, if, you're, if you're not able to do that, I can still make an appointment with you. I mean, I, I'd, I'd rather come up to the police station and then yeah. I've got four children here and I, I, I wouldn't want to, that's fine, that's to, to worry them any further. Um, okay. I, I mean, I, I will, but I won't. You know. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let me take some details from you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I will I will go and try to arrange will book an appointment with you. Um, can you just explain to me what, what the situation is? Well, I, I, I've spoken to my lawyer and, yeah. Yeah, and he said not to, to, to say anything. So, can I ask um, why he said that? Um, the the incidents of a serious nature. Right. When you say serious, because I need to highlight this to the officer of how serious it is, and this only lies with me passing it to the officer. Can I ask what it, what it is? How serious? Well, definitely not in the United States. Um, so I can only comment so much because I don't know what their policies are. She's saying that they can make appointments for domestics. We don't take appointments for initial reports or anything like that. Um, if they want to make a report, they can come to the station or we can send somebody out to their house. So this is a little bit, um, not in my expertise, but, um, yeah, I mean, they sound, they both sound calm at the moment and very helpful. Yeah, he seems very nonchalant, unbothered, um, just kind of matter of fact and calm. So as of right now, it seems like just maybe it was over an argument or something and he's just seeking advice, maybe. I, um, I really don't want to say anything, actually. Um uh, Can I ask why? I mean, this is confidential. It's between me and you. Well, because it's uh, well, it's, I mean, it's extremely serious nature, and then um, I assume it's regarding with your ex-partner. Yes. Okay, and and the instance occurred recently. Yes. Yes. Last night. Right, and you're you're both okay, are you? You're not. None of you are harmed at all, are you? Well, so we have one one person. Right. Okay, is that person seeking any medical attention? Do you know? Do they need it? Uh, no. No. But, uh, uh, and you've got children involved as well? Yes. Okay, but they're with you at the moment and they're safe? Yeah, they're with me and they're safe. Okay. My, my girlfriend's looking after them. So they live with your girl? Is it your girlfriend that's in the situation? No, no, my, or no? my ex-wife. Okay, that's fine. So they're all okay, but you want to come and discuss this? Yeah. Right. When you say serious, okay, and I'm only going by assumption, I'm assuming it's something that you have seeked because you're worried about the consequences. Yes, indeed. Okay. Right. Let me take some details from you. Can I start with your name? My name is Robert Brown. Yeah, as soon as he said lawyer, uh, definitely like a little light bulb went up and you're just kind of like, okay, something definitely is going on to where you'd contact a lawyer first and now they're instructing you to make an appointment but not to say anything over the phone is kind of odd. So something obviously has taken place. He's saying somebody's injured. As of yet, she didn't specifically say was it you or was it her and how badly is she injured. She just asked if anyone needed paramedics. So, yeah, this is just really, really weird. Not your average type of call for a domestic and he's still, even knowing that one of the two of them are injured, he's very calm about it. Yeah, so you can kind of dig a little bit more. I mean, you can only do so much. You you can, but if it's like pulling teeth, kind of like with this guy, you can try to get a little bit more detailed um, where she's saying, is anybody hurt? And he says, yes. Maybe you could elaborate a little more and be like, are you injured? Do I need to get paramedics for you? And he'll say yes or no. Is she injured? Do I need to get paramedics for her? Yes or no. Okay, is she with you right now? 
yes or no? Or do you know where she's at and what her phone number is? And see if, you know, he'll give you that information. That way it's still not really talking about what happened, but you're getting a little information on her, what her name is, what her location is, her phone number, and then you're kind of specifying who the injured party is and then just kind of go from there. If I'm able to get one today, is that a good time for you? Again. If, if I'm able to get an appointment for you today, would that be okay for you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. It's going to be helpful for one moment while I check. I think I've got an appointment here, but I just want to clarify it if that's okay. Yes, thanks. Okay, one moment. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you for holding. I had a bit of a problem with our diary system. What I'm going to do is um, give you this reference number, okay? I'm going to ask if you can attend the police station yeah. um, that night um, as soon as you can. What we'll do, okay. yeah, we'll get an officer to, actually, sorry, you're from Windsor, aren't you? Yeah. Attend the Windsor one. Um, I will pass the class to an officer and we'll get some. You're going to get an officer to go to the Bracknell. And um, where is the Bracknell officer? We'll get to the Windsor one, sorry. sorry Let me correct it. Yeah, Windsor's your local one, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, we'll get an officer to attend there to meet you um, to discuss it. Okay, because um, unfortunately I can't get any appointments for today, but due to what you're telling me, I think we need to speak to you today. Yeah, I'll, I'll come in, don't worry. Okay. I'll be there. Um, she was very polite and stayed calm the whole time it, it seemed definitely like they were just having a very relaxed conversation um but in my opinion you can kind of hear her wheels turning on like okay what is really going on this guy's definitely holding back some things and how am i going to pull out more information i think she did a really good job staying calm and trying to get information I hope that's not where the call actually ended because there's a lot more things she could have probably asked. But um, from what we heard, she did a really good job, especially since this person was really holding back as much as he possibly could and really didn't want to give her anything.